Okay, yeah, to start a new recording there, apparently we're, uh, you know, it didn't really work. No, it wasn't because of that. Uh, <laughs> had a little issue with the recording file. <laughs> like, that was 1.34 gigs already, so I had to turn down the frames and stuff. Uh, looking at this, there's a two-drop, there's a spear, there's a favorite hoplite in the Battlewise Valor. I'm going to take the favorite hoplite. It's an awesome one-drop, and I don't really have time to think about the rest of it. My wife ordered mushrooms on my pizza. Those of you who know me, I'm very sad right now. Uh, I'm happy we're getting another Dragon's Mantle, though. We're really starting to get in there with our heroic guys and starting to make this come together. I'm liking this. I will just cut this stuff later. Wow, a Magma Jet. These, I've seen draft decks that just play these dudes and play tons of these 5-drop removal spells. There's Rage of Porphyros, there's Lash of the Whip. And they're just bad. Like they almost, they almost never kill anything that costs 5 or that you put 5 mana into. And they're just, you know, we don't even want to play anything besides, you know, Mr. Stormbreath here. We're going to take Magma Jet. It's awesome. And we're just going to keep getting the goods. Uh, Two-headed Cerberus, awesome with our Dragon's Mantles, our Titan Strengths, and our Phalanx Leader. Does a lot of work. We don't need a third Titan Strength. That's a little much. So we'll take the Cerberus. And we got to keep our creature count high, too. That's important to note as well. Uh, we'll just take that. This draft's just about over, so... And we'll take... Uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, we could have took the, we could have took the Dark Betrayal. I was thinking like, boy, we could set in Dark Betrayal against like a really grindy black deck, and then we would have got this. But we'll just take the Triton, throw the best card against us. You know, as we move stuff over to the board, this Sparkle's not making it. Our deck's way too good for that card. One of these Titan Strengths might be getting the Heave Ho as well. Wow, Bronze Sable, Zzz. One of these Cyclopses are probably, probably going to leave leave town too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the finals of one draft I played against a guy who played this card on turn one, and then he played this card on turn two on it, and then like he attacked me a couple times, and then he, on the turn when I had five card four cards in hand, he played a second one on an attack, and I had he had a seven seven Asphodel Wander. Well, wow, we'll take that. And the only reason we won the game is because we drew our one of Portent of Betrayal and we wailed on him because we had our own ordeal going on. It's actually a really awesome match. Uh, not just because I won it, because it was very interesting. It was a black-green deck that was like hyper-aggressive and did all, all sorts of awesome things. Could bestow cost five. I'm not terribly excited about that. Or, wow, what's it doing? There we go. This one does. Okay, so one of the good things about the new client, when you you know like hide your cards or move them to your board, automatically puts what you're playing right here, so you don't have to worry about it. So we're going to put that up there. We're going to keep our one drops. Let's actually do this. Let's move all this off to the side. Look at our actual just our actual creature curve because it's kind of important. Oh, I guess we can't do that anymore. Fine. Hmm. Yeah, stuff like this tends to get a lot of, uh... Where'd the other one go? Oh, it's up here. Okay. What? Go over there. There we go. So we got four, four, and then a bunch here, and then here. So we're going to have to make some changes to this, because having, having a proper curve is very important. I think one of these sables is going to have to make it in. And I think it might be over this card or this card. I'm not sure which. Hmm. Or maybe just one of these. These are kind of dorky. They're very good with Titan Strength, though, and Dragon's Mantle because they do trample. I think we're going to cut one of those. We'll, we'll think about bringing it in if we need to. We're still at 29 cards. We need to cut a bunch, too. I think this card's good, or this deck's good enough. We don't actually need that. And maybe we don't need this either. See, and that means we can cut that. See, we're getting down to the the good stuff. Actually, you know what? This card's still really nuts. We have two Magma Jets and a God's Willing and a... Yeah, we're not cutting that. <laughs> so... Maybe the cut is actually... It might actually be this guy. This guy bestows for 6, not 5. It's a little unimpressive. And this card just got so much more upside with what our deck does with the Double Dragon Mantle, Titan Strength, Phalanx Leader, uh, Ordeal, and Dauntless Onslaught. It actually does a ton. 
And I mean, this is good on a two on turn six, but that's a little late. So we got to cut uh, one card, possibly, probably two, actually. Hmm. I almost think it should be the other one of these, but it probably should be from over here. Maybe the other Titan Strength just isn't that good, but I like having one. Just because, you know, you can basically, you can lava axe your opponent for one if you can just force your guy through. Maybe this Crusader isn't very good. Two of them's not great. Hmm. So three one drops. I guess since we don't have double ordeal, it isn't quite as crucial that we have, you know, that sort of action going on. Maybe this is the card we can... No, that card's really good. It's better in the white-green, but it's good here. Because this card really costs this. It doesn't actually have one drop unless you have the ordeal. Maybe you do this? Just because we have the Storm Breath, we don't have to play the Cyclops guy. Even though Cyclops guy is very good. Because we don't really ever want to get to six mana. That's 16 guys, 25 cards, so we have to cut from here, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Mm, man, cutting Titan Strength just seems so weak. I don't want to. I could just cut this. Maybe I'll just cut this. 15 creatures. A good bit of removal. And... Yeah, not that... I'm... Jeez. I'm not really happy. I'm not really sad with the way this is turning out. It's just these two drops. Maybe we don't need it quite as many two drops. Because this, this Sable is pretty embarrassing. Then we can just play, like, another decent creature. We can just play another one drop. That's better. That's probably right. Like, we're going to need to draw this guy to win some of our games anyway. Hmm. Boy. This guy sucks, too. What if we did that? Is that really all that bad? Or... Yeah, because we're really glutted at this spot. We don't want another card there. Or we can put this back in. That's 14, guys. That's too little. Huh. Or we can really go nuts. Maybe this is right. Huh. And go 15 lands? With all this scry? I kind of like that, actually. Again, you know experimental, or experimental, but uh, you know, with only two real four drops, and this can be played as a one, and then one five drop, and, you know, scry two, scry two, scry one, scry one. I guess this can cost five sometimes. Well, this can cost... This guy's okay to cast at a three, though. The second one's just worse than all these other guys, though, in our deck. Hmm. And two cantrips... I think that's... Oh boy. Nah, I'm going to run 16. I can't bring myself to play that guy, man. That'll be fine. Alright, so that's what we're going to run. And then we're going to pause the... We're going to stop the video. <laughs> For a moment, we'll make another one. 10-6, huh? Somehow I don't think that's happening. Uh, sort by color. Oh, there are a lot more red cards. Jeez. 9-7. Seems like it's really hard to cast this guy on 2 then. Hmm. Then again, we've got Double Dragon's Mantle. All this removal. Hmm. Now I'm going to run 8-8, eight eight, despite the fact that it makes a lot of our cards significantly worse. It just seems more important to be able to play Hoplite and or Phalanx Leader on time. Wait, that's 41. What the hell happened? Why do I have 41? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, how'd this get back in here? That's 14 guys again. What the heck? That's annoying. Sheesh. I guess maybe he was hidden somewhere. 
Eh. Fine. Eh, not fine. Now I'm annoyed. I guess we have Dauntless on, so it's just a better version of this card. And we have removal. Last time I, I played this deck, I have actual no removal. This was my removal. Yeah, I think I'll run that. Oh, I guess we're getting ready to go. I'll, uh, I'm gonna make another video, and I'll be, I'll be, I'll be back for.